I have seen equine leptospirosis in central Kentucky through the years of practice. And I think there's lepto everywhere. There isn't any reason why white-tailed deer in Florida or California don't harbor leptospirosis. It's a fact that they do. One of those disease entities that's always been problematic and bothersome. It's expensive, it's worrisome. It appears that the, the lepto vaccine is very effective. I see no reason why you wouldn't vaccinate your population. My experience with Lepto EQ Innovator has been really good. We started using it last year. Um, it was very similar to a lot of other vaccines we have. We explained how this vaccine has been in the works and we've, as equine practitioners here in Kentucky, have always wanted a vaccine to help prevent leptospirosis. I have not seen any vaccine reactions post-administration of the Lepto EQ Innovator since I've started administering it last year and this year. As far as uh, reactions to the vaccine, uh, in uh, our practice, I've had no reactions. I feel extremely comfortable recommending Zoetis products based on their track record. They came out with Numa Borcane 84. I've been using that ever since. And I've never, I've again, not somebody that would hop on the bandwagon, but with this company, I have no hesitation, especially in light of the opportunities we have to prevent diseases in horses. In regards to recommending uh, other veterinarians to use the leptospirosis vaccine, I think it's a pretty simple answer to, to try to incorporate that into everyone's vaccine protocols because, again, this is another way to prevent um, a possibly devastating uh, disease process.